Hi Virgo, welcome to a highest timeline reading. This is the reading we do every Sunday to check in with the energy for the upcoming week. Now this week is a lot going on, so I've brought out the Isis Oracle. I only bring her out when, you know, the energy is really dense, when we need to sort of cut to the chase and see what's going on here, because they're, you know, with the Schumann's resonance, Virgo, you know, energetically, scientifically, there's a lot that's been happening, so we feel that in our energy field. If you've been feeling emotional, if you've been sort of feeling, you know, ups and downs, it is, you know, it makes sense. Um, and also, astrologically, um, we've got the Mercury retrograde coming up, we've got the Saturn retrograde, and of course, we've got that full moon, that full blood flower moon, that's a lunar eclipse as well. So really be gentle with yourself this week. Drink a lot of water to help with the, the integrating of these new energies. You might notice I drew three sort of flying creatures that are flying through this portal of change here. Your dragon guide for the week is the air and fire dragon. Expands your creative energies. Amazing. That makes sense. The fight, you know, very Sagittarius energies. It's it actually Wow. So, you know, Sagittarius um, and Gemini are on the axis. So it's the lunar eclipse between the two. It's, uh, you know, so that's, that's the air sign and the fire right there. That's you really harnessing the power of the moon is exactly what this is. You're really, you know, exhibiting this alchemy and making the most of these beautiful lunar energies. It says to harness your creativity, excitement and enthusiasm. Communicate your passion. Oh, I love to see this for you, Virgo. I love that the lunar energies are going to be gifting you with this fire and passion. Wow. You know, a lot of the signs are, are you know, not as in flow with this full moon, the sort of feeling the brunt of it, but that you are harnessing this energy, that makes me so happy. Like my heart, it feels happy that that, that, that is going on for you, sweethearts. Let's draw you the Isis Oracle. Beautiful. Divine sisterhood. Amazing. Community of the spiritual sisters and brothers of the light. Some of you are spiritual leaders. You might be oracle readers. You might be, you know, uh, have a, a post that you share, or you've got friends and family that listen to you for spiritual advice for your wisdom because you create community. You know, you might have an online platform, or your friends and family, you know, they they look to you for advice. You inspire people, Virgo. So that is so beautiful, and it, you know, it's like your creative energy in creating this. Um, that's really helping people more than you know, right? And let's see who your angel guide this week is. Wow, your energy is really beautiful and light this week, Virgo. That's that's stunning. It's exciting too, right? Because it's like this birth of creative change. Retreat. Some of you might be actually creating a retreat. I'm getting here, you know, with the community. Um, but this is a time for maybe going and, and thinking about the things that you would like to create. The full moon is a beautiful time for manifesting. So maybe just having a little creative time to write the things down that, you know, you might dream about making in the future. And let's draw you lessons from a cat card for the week. Thank you so much for your likes, shares and subscribes, sweethearts. I so appreciate it. And I look forward to your next love reading here on the channel. And this is the weekly reading we do. Value your solitude. That's that's beautiful. So, you know, if there's that's very interesting. You know, we've got community and then sort of two cards of solitude here. It's like creating and you and you gift with this community, but you also really value, you know, your own time. This is a gorgeous balance that we're seeing here, Virgo. You know, I you know, I feel like Spirit is giving, like applauding you because you're really showing sort of how things should be done, right? Because sometimes we can get into creating mode and just get a bit unbalanced. And sometimes we can go, you know, too much into our own time and sort of forget to reach out. What you're demonstrating here, Virgo, is absolutely beautiful divine alchemy, complete balance. And yeah, blessings going to come forward, you know, from this. Spirit is definitely, you know, saying job well done, like you are being applauded. That's beautiful. Okay, sweethearts, have a gorgeous week. I look forward to your next love reading and your next highest timeline reading here on Crystal Communications. Ciao for now, Virgo.